how to use the Place Along Path feature in Photoshop 220 as well as earlier to create some really extreme designs. Something very similar to that. And that's the source material. And another design, something like that. And also like that. And also similar to that. You can create all kinds of really extreme, unusual, colourful designs using the Place Along Path. And that's the source material. And of course, you can create your own source material. You can create all kinds of amazing designs to be used for the pattern. I'm just going to use a shape there. So I'm just going to quickly create a quick shape just on a layer. It's just a layer. And you can add a bevel to it, a shadow to it, maybe fill it with a gradient. Give it a stroke. and so on and so on. You could use images, text, and much, much more as well. Once you've done that, just go to the rectangular marquee tool and select, select the design, and then edit and define pattern. Click OK. Now you can go to the other ones and just quickly select them. And again, edit and define pattern. OK. And you can run through all those. And also what you can also do, you can just select part of them. You don't have to select the whole design. Just select part of the design. Okay, edit and define pattern. So once you've done that, you've got your source of patterns. You've got a whole range of patterns to use. You can then apply them using the fill command. I'm going to create a new document for that because I want to create a new document and go to file and new and just create 1920, whatever you want. Click create and I'm using this white background. Now you need a path. That's the key thing here. So I'm just going to use for a quick example ellipse. I'm using the path option there, just set that to path at the top left and it's combined shapes. So you can really create some very complex paths now. Don't have to just have one single line, you can have three, four and the key panels here are layers and paths which you can find in the window menu. So just drag out there, just drag again you can see you can create, and you can see the path being built up in the pass panel. Repeat that, make multiple. And you can draw a lot of other lines over it. You don't have to have them circular. You just have, I'm just going to go show you example initially with circles and edit and fill. Set contents to pattern. Select one of those designs you've just selected and defined. And so there's some examples, earlier examples as well. I'm using large thumbnails. Just select one of those. And use the script, make certain the script is on, and place along path. Sometimes when you go back into it, you find it suddenly's not on, so it's always good to quickly check. Click OK. And then you get a second panel. What you can do, you can change the spacing. And you can change the scale, you can change the colorize randomness. Put that fairly high. Brightness randomization fairly high as well. And I'm also using alternate patterns as well. That's in the center. Click that on. And then just apply it. And there you've got your design, your fill. And you can always apply it again and again and again. You can change the settings, so edit and fill. Or maybe select all the points in the pass. So go to the direct selection tool. And 
And there's the direct selection tool. And select all of the points. Or some of them. Don't have to select all of them. Select some of them. You can then move the entire path around. And of course what you can do then, unfortunately there's no repeat fill. Be nice if there was. There isn't. So you just go through the same edit, fill and panel. Click OK. And then just apply it again. And again you can move that path. And you can also apply transformations to the path. So you can go to the edit menu and you can transform the path. So you can scale it. You can rotate it. You can warp it. And much, much more. Click OK. And you can fill the entire document with that design. Or just one bit. You could put them on different layers if you wish as well. Edit Fill. Click OK. And click OK again. So you can fill the entire document just with that very, very basic path design. And then you can apply oil paint. Or maybe another filter from the filter menu. File and new. Oops, that zoom tool. I'm gonna go with the but you can change the tools. You can go with the lips, you can use rectangles, etc. Gain path, make so it's path, and you can fill the whole entire document with multiple circles or multiple ellipses. So you can create some really extreme paths. And you can, of course, tweak the paths using the selection tools that are available, direct selection tool. And so you just fill that all with circles there. Small circles, big circles. And you can always, once you've applied the effect, the fill command, you can always go back and add some additional paths. You might suddenly find an area that's not touched. You think, right, I can go back and then just add another circle or two. Again, if you want to select it, you can apply transformations to it. So I select all of them using the direct selection tool and edit and transform path. Perspective, distort, warp. So transform path there and warp. And you select it, and you can then distort the design, drag it over so it's not circular now. Then you can also go back to the edit and fill. And in this case, I'm going to change it to another design, so I'm just going to select one of the others, like that one. Place along path again, script is on, click OK, and now you get the panel again. As the design, the source design has changed, you can change the scale, change the spacing. Make it closer, make it further apart, up to you. Click OK. And there it is, it's just filled entirely most of the document and as I say there's a little bit in the corner that's got a gap so you can always go and add some additional paths there if you wish and again you can go to filter and oil paint and stylize menu so filter and stylize or you could use maybe say instead of oil paint you can use find edges or emboss quite nice design there. Don't want that. And you can always undo, of course. You can always go to the edit menu and undo. Or control Z. Now, new document. So you can go create another document. And this time, I'm going to use a different path. I'm not going to use circles. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. And you can create the similar sort of designs. You can create maybe a contour-like design or 
just fill the entire document with squares or rectangles. Which you can, of course, again, select all the points or some of the points and transform those using the edit menu and transform. You can make the design as complex as you would wish. So you can always go back and add additional parts if you wish as well, or remove them. And you can add this onto a new layer, so layer and new layer if you wish as well. So edit and fill. Again, custom pattern. I'm just going to go and select a different one now. And that was the triangular design. Again, script is on, place along path. Because sometimes, as I mentioned, suddenly the script gets turned off for random reasons. And again, you can see now the alternate patterns kicking in. Change the spacing, change the scale, click OK. And there it is. You can fill the entire document with a square like design. Instead of circular bursts of designs. And you can use the direct selection tool, select all the points or some of the points and move it around. And then do edit and fill. Click OK. And click OK again. And you, if you suddenly see areas that you that are not filled, you can always add additional rectangles to those areas as well. So once you've done that, you can see the path at all times up in the very hard to see the red lines at this point. You can see the pass in the pass panel. It's all one single path, work path. Edit and fill. Click OK. And you can change, of course, the scaling, change the spacing again, but just click OK. And then filter. And stylize and oil paint. And I like to set the stylization cleanliness quite high. Click OK. And you can see then you've got your lovely line square design there. Just using that work path. So I'm just going to delete that now. What you can also do is select part of the image. So once you've created a design, you can go to it and using the rectangular marquee tool, just select part of the area and edit and define pattern. Click OK. And select another part. And that can create some very interesting oddball designs as well. Edit and define pattern. And you can use images, you can use type. It doesn't have to be these shape designs filled with gradients, etc. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to the ellipse tool, but you can use any of the tools. You can also use the pen tool. Just fill the entire design with those circles so it's easy to see the actual path in the pass panel once you've done that you can then apply the fill again
So edit and fill. And again, this time, always as always, remember to go and select the pattern you've just created. There's that design there and that design there. Click OK. Make certain the script is on, otherwise it won't work. And then you can see the design there. And again, you can then modify it, because again, it depends on the pattern source. You might have to rescale it and space it. Click OK. And then you've got your design there. All kinds of amazing circular, square, whatever designs can be generated using this approach. And of course, as always, you can always finish it off with a filter and stylize and oil paint. Or blur or any of the others as well. As well as go to the image menu and adjustments. Say levels to brighten it up a bit. Change input sliders. Maybe use color lookup to change the color completely. Green and red, sepia, and so on and so on. So it's a great way of using the path feature to create all kinds of amazing background designs as well as overlays, textures, and much, much more. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. all the time. Please add a comment or two. Always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.